welcome to my channel. In this hotel review video, I checked into Sheraton Grand Taipei Hotel. Uh, I booked a guest room initially and I've been upgraded to a diplomatic suite uh, as a titanium elite member of the Marathon Boy program. So, yeah, it's about 10 pm. I just arrived at the hotel and checked in. Uh, I flew Starlux. There was a slight delay in taking the airport train Even though it's express, I took a while So yeah And I guess it's a bit too late to do the room tour I think I'll do it tomorrow uh, For the... For Platinum Elite guests and above You're entitled to either the 1000 points or the breakfast that you can choose from So of course I chose the 1000 points because I wouldn't have the breakfast the last day And also I think you have breakfast at the lounge so I don't see a need to have it at the lobby uh, Yeah, so that's my, my point for you So yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow morning So I just came back for breakfast from the lounge. The spread isn't great. Um, there are quite limited choices. I think if you choose the lobby to have your breakfast in the lobby, I think it'd be much better. But of course for myself, I only had eggs, fruits and a little bit of vegetables. And it's good enough for me. And that's what I usually have when I dine at the lobby actually. So unless I'm with someone, I would definitely choose the breakfast. But if I'm alone, I would, I'm good with the lounge actually. So yeah, so I think we can do the room tour. So I'm not sure you can see this. So basically this is where the check-in counters were. So as you enter the hotel, this is where the check-in counters are. So there's two different lift lobbies, one on the west wing and one on the east wing, if I'm correct. So this is the room. So as you exit the lift, the room is directly outside. So I think there are two suites over here and the rest are just normal rooms. And same for this side, there is one suite at the corner, I believe. And I think this one goes to this lift goes to the lounge, so it is quite a distance. This doesn't go to the lounge, but this lift, this lift goes to the gym. So as you enter the room, you'll be greeted by this long corridor or an entry ante room. So you have this floor to ceiling um, mirror. So for you to check yourself before you head out. And on the left is a powder room. So uh, it's quite sizable, I think. Um, you'll find a facial and Buff. So this is the hand soap actually, and two, three hand towels are placed here. And there's a toilet bowl with bidet, so you can control 
the bidet on the left side two toilet rolls are placed over there okay so this is the living as we went exit and enter um, it's very big so we can easily fit three people for here and yeah I think you can also place a bit over here if you had a Tupperson sleeping here um, so a fruit platter is placed over here and on the side you'll find a lamp and two bottles of water on the other side so this is actually another door for the connecting room to the other room For the study desk, over here you get a telephone. You can also find the QR code for the in-room dining and more about the hotel, no pad and pen, and also some details. So inside they are empty. Okay, moving on, there's a TV over here, quite a big one. And the mini bar can be found on the left side. So above you get this ice bucket, a few glasses over here, a kettle and a Nespresso machine. So they only provided two Nespresso capsules, two creamers, um, some tea over here and some alcohol but it's chargeable. Inside the fridge you also find some drinks and snacks but it's also chargeable so you can see they are labelled with the stickers okay so let's check out the room so as we enter the room uh, it's also quite big, there's a sofa on the side for one. Two bottles are placed over there and a large TV is also placed here and on the bedside table you find this vacuum bag thing but you need to pay 600 in TD. I'm sure you can see it. And on the side you have this USB and a international port so you are safe actually. Um, on the other side, so this was I think the turn down service and some biscuits were provided and placed on the side of the bed. Um, two alcohol wipes, the telephone can be found on the side, however there's no USB here, you can set the alarm, there's an alarm here and the lights can be controlled here. So that's it. Um, you can apparently see through the toilet, but there's a blind for you to pull down. And I think there's also a blind spot. So, yeah. Okay, moving on into the walking wardrobe. So, there's a laundry bag on the left, a safe, and all these drawers are actually empty. Um, there are more storage areas on top of it. So, you need to store more items as possible and here you can actually fit one luggage and maybe your personal items on the side like your bags and whatnot so definitely you can't fit two there's no like a laundry as in sorry uh, luggage rack additional luggage rack for you to, to place an additional luggage so on the right side you'll find clothes hangers you can hang your clothes here um, the bathrobe is by Sheraton so it is embroidered and yeah this is mine um, there's a ironing board and the shoe horn and a shoe brush and the iron so below you'll find the bedroom slippers I'm wearing the, the one from Starlux, the F2 it's quite comfy actually okay so let's move on to the toilet the washroom so this is the washroom, it's quite brightly lit so you can see through, like as I mentioned earlier. So there's a bathtub beside the window. Um, there's also an anti-slip on the side. Anti-slip mat, sorry. So towels are placed on the rack. Well enough and sufficient. There's also a laundry wire 
a laundry line for you to hang clothes if you need to. Uh, so beside the bathtub is this shower. So another towel is also placed here. So inside is the standard toilet amenities by Sheraton. Um, it's Gilchrist and Soems, I think, if I pronounce it correctly. And the sink is not dual vanities, it's only one sink on its own, even though this is a suite. So let's check out what's on the side first. I have no idea what this is. Um, I think it's chargeable too, so but anyway, um, there's a hair dryer below. Um, there's also an international, international plug here. And three facial towels are placed here. Um, two glasses, I diffused one. And the hot and cold tap, you have to adjust yourself. Um, the soap bar, which I've used. Two bottles of water. And you can get the amenities like the toothbrush, toothpaste, shaving cream, shaver, and a comb. Um, cotton buds and cotton pads. So I think there's also the shower cap. So, body lotion. And this is mine. So, on the left side is the vanity mirror. And you can find hooks on top for you to hang your towels and whatnot. So, on this side, you actually see a toilet bowl and with the BD function as well. So a telephone for emergency. Lastly, there's a basket here. I believe it's for the towels and some additional sh shelves for you to place things. So yeah, I forgot to mention there's also being scale in a trash bin over there. So all in all, quite a very big bathroom. So we've come to the end of the room tour. This hotel is a little bit dated, but the hotel is located right just beside the metro station. So even though the nearest exit is a long flight of stairs, you can actually cross the road from the other exit, which has two escalators and a lift. So especially when you have luggage, uh, you can consider the other exit and yeah so the only problem is if it rains then it will be a huge problem so yes. other than that um, thank you for thank you the hotel for upgrading this day really appreciate it and thank you for watching so yes and i'll see you in the next video bye bye thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video do give a like and subscribe to my channel for more see you